Everybody's famous in LA. Which reminds me that I just bought fancy sheets for the first time in my adult life, which means I'm fancy too now. <laughs> which is not what my three-year-old nephew would say, but absolutely how I felt when he said, Didi, you're my best friend, right? And it's like that. The first time I wore a black suit that hugged my shoulders and not my hips, the sidewalk lit up in a constellation of days old gum, which is so New York. So I slow danced along the spectacle of Ninth Avenue and remembered that I have jumped on more than one occasion at the sight of my own decadence until a Bessina who knew me back when I rocked bangs and an awkward long ponytail asked what I'm up to these days. And I couldn't tell her the truth, so I said, I write poems. Instead of my therapist asks if I know what PTSD is. The best front row seats I have are the ones to my own funeral, which feels weird to say because I dream I died and no one showed up. Nobody, except maybe for Stan. Yes, Stan, who fixed my flat tire with a hot patch this morning and called himself king. The world is full of VIPs who make minimum wage. I hope I'm still fancy, though I'm not convinced. Here I am, sitting outside the In-N-Out, wanting to high-five the weather that pours out of me, but I don't know how. The only time I won anything was the spring of 96. Remember Lucky? He bet $5 that you could beat all the sticky-fingered boys in a game of 21, and when you won, you ran home with the ball under your arm like it was a winning lottery ticket, and your mother said, you better not dribble in the house, and don't you dare touch the walls with your dirty fingers. Legendary. Or the time you waited two hours outside the Reebok to take a picture with Magic Johnson when you were nine. He slapped your hand. You wrapped it in plastic that night because it was going to be worth bazillions one day. <laughs> Your mother ripped it off because saran wrap is expensive and food stamps don't pay for regular people's shit. When you're older, she'll remind you that her house isn't a hotel, so you better stay a little while longer, coño. And speaking of hotels, and speaking of hotels, I'm at a fancy, no, really, five-star hotel lounging on Egyptian cotton sheets when the wireless network says there has been an error processing your request. And I remember she did not break my heart. I escaped that violence, but this is how death makes a name for itself. What did not kill me only made me want to die a little less, and I'm trying to stay alive here. I'm trying to change my life. Where do I sign up? I'm trying to find the courage to say, no, you can't come in. I'll poke holes through the night. Baby, I'm a star.